Abundance and the creation of our abundance through connection with the mother and the ace of cups we're doing this through the ace of cups but we're doing it through the three of cups there's a connection here with the three and the ace and it has to do with one of these cups and we talked about it we talked about it in our next part that message that i was telling you about that uh, was done previously, but I wasn't called to share till today. And this is the reason for that, because this has to do with that message. And this has to do with our lights, our Kundalini, our energetic field. What we're, we're, we're doing is we're actually, as you can see, like the cup is going to expand with the light. And it's, it's through love. It's with the heart. It is, however, connected, though, to the perfect storm. The courage to step into life. That's what this cup is connected to. We're going to have the courage to step into life. Because we know we're in the creation of our abundance and what our abundance means. This is not of old earth. This is not, this is not you know, the ego games. This is connection. This is love. This is healing this is joy but it's through the perfect storm it's expanding from the negative with the negative and being able to move move from the past we're going to move from the past and expand with our best futures our abundance in the present moment and that's where the key is that's the key we're in the present moment. We're in the present moment in time. In the creation of this, we're not in the past. We've let go of the past. We're letting go of the past. We're in the process of letting go of the past in order to create this new. And we're really honestly understanding and feeling how this feels. This is not like how it sounds. <laughs> this is deep. This is big. You know, to, be, to become a whole new person. And that's what we're really doing. We are evolving becoming whole new versions of ourselves along the way and we're letting go of old programming and that is connected to the vanishing mirror ego sublimination that is the time that we are in and that has to do with the fact that we're healing from our energy being siphoned from us our energy will no longer be siphoned from us so we know we're having a completion we're having a completion and it is connected to the Feast of Plenty, choices and their consequences. We are understanding the consequences of our choices. We're seeing this. We're experiencing this. And what, you know, many of us are even just really, really understanding what it means to even have a consequence here. And taking this is taking part for how we create here. This is taking part, no longer being in victim mentality. Understanding that we have choices. We all have choices that we're making every day. And a lot of these choices we're still making are connected to old programming that's just still running because we still have to clear out the past. This is a closing door and a completion to understanding that we must clear out this past. This is a creation of peace. This is healing from lack of mentality. This is healing from victim mentality. This is healing from it. This is being able to say, you know what, I'm going to heal from my past, let go what I need to let go, let go of whatever story I'm telling myself, you know, let go of this, this programming and, and, and really we're going to like amp it up. We're going to amp it up, but we're losing something along the way. We're losing a piece of ourselves because we are having a completion and we're evolving into this new person that we've been in the creation of. We are going to say goodbye to that old person. And to do this, we're going to have to act. This is about the masculine, and we found this out in like, but it's going to be like this part two, okay, guys, down in the description. It's going to be the second part. The seven of wands, okay? So we've, we're actively healing here. And we're actively healing, we know we found out because we've, we're the center point and we're restoring balance and we're playing our authentic tune. Our authentic tune is coming through because. We're having ego sublimination here and we're in the perfect storm. And we know 44 is a manifestation number. 
And this is connected to the lovers, us, right? And coming together, as you can see, the masculine here is picked up, he's picking up the feminine. The feminine is, has been through something. And the masculine is there to pick her up. And because of this, they're going to come together at an even deeper level than before. But they had to clear what they had to clear in order to get here. And we expand with the masculine. This is connected to inner child healing. For both the feminine and the masculine. And remember, we both have these energies within us. And this is what activates the three of cups. And we've been on this transformation for some time. As I know, I'm sure you guys recognize these cards. It's, it's the connection to the ace. You see how the ace is just tipping this way? We have the two of cups, but now we're going to add the ace of cups for the three. Remember, this is about our abundance. What we're manifesting here, what we're creating. Life. And what we are in manifestation of is the restoration of balance with the masculine. But remember, to do it, we're honoring the feminine. We're honoring the matter in order to expand with the energy. And we know that we honor the energy in order to expand with the matter. Balance. Balance. Restoration. Now, we know the masculine's moving forward. This is connected to a transformation. We know Scorpio season is next. This is connected to that. And it has to do with healing from this lack of patterning. This lack of program, this lack of mentality that is keeping us stuck in lower vibrations. We're going to exit that and we're going to create imbalance here. Look at the Empress. The Empress has the children sitting on her lap, okay, in this tarot deck. She's expanding with spirit. This is, a, this is going to be a time of nurturing and we're going to have to nurture with ourselves and others. Others that we're called to nurture with along the path. But this is part of this completion. And remember, we're in a time of completion. So we're going to elevate. We're going to elevate. And we're going to rise up. And it has to do with... We're in a, also, too, a time of purification. A time of purification in order to get here. And it's connected to our Ten of Cups But we're walking the path of the moon right now. And this is about our authenticity and growth. And time with the four of swords. And we deeply get into this in, in, the, in this next part. Okay, in part two. That is actually going back in time. Where we go back in time. And it's a reading that's connected to our abundance. What is shifting between the new moon and the full moon. And now we'll go from the full moon to the new moon in Scorpio. This is connected to this. We're going to heal from our from our lack of, from our worry. And it's connected to. We're no longer going to conceal our light. We're going to reveal it. And this has this has to do with what's happening here in this part of this transformation. Right here. This is connected. And we know we're healing from being lost in space. Now, actually, guys, we find this out. We find this out in part two. We're healing from being lost in space. And maybe, you know what? I'll make it part three. Or I'll make this part three. Maybe this will be part three. Uh, guys, I'm not trying to confuse anyone here right now. I'm confusing myself. But this we'll put we'll, this will be part three that we're this is the way to break it up that makes sense this will be part three that previous reading going back in time will be part two and then it won't be confusing now this is the message right we find out we found out in part two we're lost in space we're needing direction so reconciliation this is what's happening right now what we are experiencing Wailing tree, grief and mourning, a time of necessary loss, reconciliations, losses and reconciliations. When you encounter the wailing tree on your path, 
It's an invitation to stay a while and regroup. A place for you to rest and allow yourself to say goodbye to what no longer serves you. You may have been overdoing things, working too hard, or putting too much effort into life with little reward. If you've been considering making a change, now is the time to do so. One important thing is to consider before you make any changes is that you need to allow yourself to feel your disappointment. Guys, we're going to feel it to heal it. Your loss and mourn what was and what could not be. This is a way to honor your experience, to give yourself time to consider all the gifts in it, to put proper closure on it, to really know what you've learned as you walk away from it and into something new. Even in the perception of failure, there is much good to be discovered. However, skipping the stages of loss doesn't get you to reconciliation any faster. In fact, you will discover that you will have to come back at some point. So do it now. Look at it all squarely and honestly and stay with your feelings. Go, this is this is how we're going to be in this completion. This is... Where did it go? Oh, guys, we know. We know what's here, right? Where did you go? Well, there it is. This is this. This is how we're going to continue to elevate. Life is not either or it's both and this and that so as you dive into the process of this allow it to become a temporary travel companion on your journey the feelings that this will bring to the surface will be challenging for sure yet like all things they will pass soon enough and you will be more enriched by the experience and that's what's happening we're becoming more enriched by this experience as you can see look at and you, I love the connection to fall here. And you can see that the, these cards are speaking to each other. This is what I love about the tarot and, and doing the oracle and meeting here with this divine tool. Now, because this is, is this going to be how we're closing it out, let's just see where we're going from here. There it is. We ascend. We ascend and we heal from our crisis. And we restore balance between duality. It's time for change, guys. We've been in stasis. We heal from strife and crisis. And we ascend. Time. This is where it is. Remember, we're healing from. We're, we've we've moved now to the wrath template. There it is, and we're gonna invest. We're gonna invest, and there's our manifestations in formation. Love, light, and healing energy sent your way to create with today. I love you. You know I'm sending it to you. Those good, good healing vibes. Take care.